Hi everyone, it's me again, and I have another card that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I guess this is my first card that, I, that I'm going to share, but I wanted to um, just wish my friend Cammy a happy birthday, and I filmed her gift um, on another video, but I was having problems with the recording software. So now that um, I changed to a different one, it's actually the one my webcam is hooked up to. Um, I think that this is the way it's going to go from now on, but I don't know that I'm going to actually redo that video. So, um, sorry, I don't know that I have enough time because we're flying out tomorrow to go see them. But um, since I didn't film this one yet, I thought that this would be a good chance to do so. So let me just kind of explain to you what I made. Um, I think in the last video, which you probably won't see, um, I did explain that my friend Cami loves Magnolia images. And I think she tends to like the older style looking Tildas, but um, I don't have that many images. So I just picked out the ones that I thought she would like the best. And um, I really like this one. I thought it was cute. She has this, she's holding a rose. In fact, I think that's what it's called, Tilda with a rose. But one of the things Cami pointed out to me is that she doesn't like it um, when they have club looking feet. And so I tried to pick this one because it has, she has booties on. But, um, and I don't think it looks like club feet, but she, I don't know how she's going to consider that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I stamped the image in a dark brown memento instead of black. <clears throat> and I think for the Magnolia images, I kind of like that better because it's a little softer looking. And um, I kind of like that effect. Whereas if I'm stamping sister stamps, I tend to choose black because um, I guess I used to do the hair in black. <clears throat> but maybe I'll try it in brown in the near future. Okay, so um, just to get started... A, lot, a while ago, when I first got these um, corrugated cards, I got these from Michael's when I went to the mainland, and I bought several boxes because I wasn't sure when I would be able to get these again. And so um, I did a bunch of cards with them as the card base, and I really liked them. But I wanted to do something different. So one day, I was just sitting in my craft room, and I thought, you know what? I think it looked kind of cool if I just um, distress it with some paint. And so I did that. I just sat there and I just did several colors. So um, that in the event that I wanted to make a card, then I would have, see, I have blue, I have, I can't really tell, but it's pink. I have a lavender, two lavenders, and another pink. So um, anyway, I thought that I would use one of those cards since I already had it shabbied up. And then again, like I said earlier, I really want to um, feature papers that I wouldn't normally use because um, I know that Cami would appreciate the papers that I'm using. So um, I recently picked up this Bella Rose stack and I also got the Floral Pavilion and they're, they're actually very similar. They look very shabby chic and that's the look that I was going for. So. Um, anyway, I chose this particular pattern. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of bright. My light is kind of bright. But, um, it's like a aqua color and then it has the wallpaper looking, um, with the roses and leaves. So I just cut out like a, just a piece of paper, um, and I mounted it on here. And then what I did was I kind of wanted to use a frame and Rena from uh, Rena Scratchstress sent me this frame in a rack um, a while ago when we did our hard vaults. Hi Rena. Um, I really love these frames and um, she gave me so many that I really don't know that I, what I'm going to do with them. So I wanted to incorporate it into this project um, and I thought that what I would do is have it so that it's part of the card. But then if um, Cami wants to use it outside of the card, she can still use it. So that's why, if you see, I'm kind of like playing around with it. But what I did was I got the lace. This is just some leftover lace trim that I had. Um, I save all my scraps just in case I, I'll need a smaller piece. And I just glued down this side and this side. Um, and then it kind of made like a little... Um, 
I don't know what you call it, not a pocket, but something like that where you can now hang stuff from it. And because the frame has this still in the back, I thought that it could be hung um, from there. So it's not very stable, like if she just opened it, the frame might just fall out, but I'll warn her um, because I'll be with her when she does open it, hopefully. Um, and then the other thing I did was, again, I used some seam binding because that's my favorite ribbon. And I made this flower based on, um, I think it was Tutu Amy's tutorial on how to make them. And I used um, some of that Tanya Whelan fabric that I got from fabric.com, which I was enabled by Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Um, so anyway, um, I just decided to use that flower to decorate it. And then I just have another I Am Roses um, rose here. Um, and then I thought the, the frame needed a, just one more thing. And so on the top, I added a crown bling that I just recently got from DIY Boutique on Etsy. Um, I did a lot of damage there. So I want to start using the stuff that I got. Okay, so um, you open the card by lifting it up. But again, because it's not stable, I'm going to just hold down the frame so that nothing goes flying all over the place. And then I just use the rest of the paper um, as the backing here. And then I thought, oh, maybe instead of just regular cardstock, I would use a doily. So I got one of my old doilies from my stash and I stuck it on here. And before I stuck it on, I was like, actually, after I stuck it on, I was thinking, oh, I got to put a sentiment somewhere. So where I guess I can um, stick it on the doily. And I was hoping that if I stamped on it, that it wouldn't like smear or anything. So what I did is I had an extra doily and then I just tested it on there before um, I actually tried to stamp it on here. And um, this happy birthday set is a stamp set. I think this is Stampin' Up. Yeah, this is Stampin' Up. And my friend Debbie, hi Debbie. She knows that um, I like this kind of script looking fonts. And I guess I didn't see this um, in any of the catalogs. And so she just bought it for me and gave it to me because she's my best friend, <laughs> my best crafty friend anyway. So um, thanks, Debbie. I really like this set. And this is the first time I'm using it, but I was, wasn't was sure how well the Stampin' Up pol um, photopolymer stamps would be because it's the first time I'm using it. But it actually stamps pretty good. So, um, and I did use archival ink mainly because um, it does stamp well. I usually use that with my sentiments, and because of the doily um, surface, I wasn't sure how regular ink would take to it. So, um, I decided to go with the archival ink. And then the last touch I put on here, oh, it's hard to see, is this um, heart tag, which is this punch. And I saw this on Marissa's YouTube channel, which is Creative Young Mama. Hey, girl. Um, I really like this punch. And I think I told you before that I really like hearts. And I like the fact that it has a heart um, hole. So that when you punch out your tag, it will automatically put that little heart hole on the top. So I'm going to try to do another project with these. Um, and I thought it would be a good way to use up all my scraps, like my tilde paper and this um, Bella Rose paper, because you don't want to waste anything, right? Um, so anyway, I'm going to try and work out something with that. But in the meantime, I just put a plain one here on the card. So see, look, the frame fell out. Um, but anyway, I hope Cami likes this card, and I'll write a nice message in there before I give her her gift. But um, I just thought I'd share because I thought this is kind of different to put the frame onto the card and still be able to use it um, later on. And then she can change it out. Like she can take out the tilde image and put like a picture of her dog or of us or her and her husband or whatever she wants to do. But anyway, um, anyway, I hope that you folks have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to my trip to Oahu where I can meet up with Linda. Hi Linda, Kyoko, hey girl, and Cami. 
um, so that we can celebrate Cami's birthday and hopefully we can also get some shopping done. But um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.